What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday like I always do. Almost every Sunday, I make a species Sunday. People have been asking me about doing fish videos. Oh, by the way, I know a little something about fish, so here it comes. Species Sunday, rainbow fish, Melatonia, or Melatonia, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Parkin Sonai. We are talking about the orange boy right there that's not the Bosmani. You're looking at him front and center right there. That fish is wicked. I believe they're from the coast of New Guinea. I'll make sure I have it right in the comments. Um, rainbow fish in general just dominate, okay? Do not try to keep them in a tank that is um, less than, I would say, 55 to 75 gallons. It just doesn't, uh, they're, they're big schoolers, they're big swimmers. In fact, I really wouldn't even recommend rainbows for beginners because um, they are kind of, I, I mean, they're hardy, but they're a little bit more sensitive. And they're also kind of expensive. So you definitely don't want to mess with rainbows if you're just kind of, in the words, balling on a budget. So, um, yeah, really sweet fish. Takes a long time to get that orange inside of its, uh, on its body. And it kind of like moves from its back fins into its body. I recommend feeding a high veggie content diet. These guys got fed, uh, they do get fed New Life Spectrum. I also did, um, what is that stuff? Uh, some other high veggie content. Basically like 70% veggie, a uh, little bit of uh, meat in there. But you want to keep them, uh, keep them pooping. You want to keep them constantly like flushing it out. Actually, he just took a dump right before he got on film. So he knew what was up. He knew it was coming. Um, a little bit about rainbows. I have had some of you that watched my older videos. Um, where I didn't sell as many plants. Uh, they, uh, I was talking, I had a problem with rainbows and internal parasites. And I've been doing some reading on some really, really killer forums. Uh, Rainbowfish.eu, I believe is one, and Rainbowfish.info. There's a guy named Adrian, another guy named Gunther, and a bunch of other people who talk insane about rainbow fish. Just all about them, all over the world. I think it's actually international. It's an international, like, internationally hosted site. They've got a bunch of stuff from like Heiko Blyther. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of him. He's like a really famous um, explorer that goes and like gets all these crazy rare rainbows and other, other species, all kinds of species. Anyway, um, it talked about how they're slightly more susceptible, just rainbows as an entire species, not just this species. Um, they're a little bit more susceptible to some of the internal, um, internal parasites and things of that nature, so you're gonna to wanna to watch out for that. And they recommend uh, actually maintaining them in uh, quarantine tanks. And I actually know a guy who keeps uh, a bunch of cichlids. He's got uh, Blue Lagoon cichlids here in Nicholasville, Kentucky. That guy, uh, he actually, on his tropicals, he quarantines them all and then deworms them, which I think is a pretty good move. I, I've never really quarantined fish. I do keep a pretty close eye on them, and I make sure that they're eating right out of the gate. I will hit them with some garlic on occasion. So that's something you can do to prevent that. Um, yeah, another, uh, anyone have any um, Melatonea uh, Parva Red? I'm also looking for that fish. It's a Parva, uh, Rainbow Parva fish. It's red. Um, I would love to get my hands on some of that. I was seeing some of that. So that's what's going on, Species Sunday. And just rainbows as a whole, um, really pumped about them. They love big tanks. Um, you know, high veggie content. I would say that... Um, you want to make sure that they have enough room to really swim. And they love schools, too. I mean, without a question, they're definitely a schooling fish. I wouldn't even try to keep them by themselves. They're happier in schools. Um, they also like a good place to hide, which I'm working on over here. I'm not done with the aquascape yet. It takes time. But um, So you're definitely going to want to give them a nice place to retreat. Because uh, I need to put the... I have a power head typically over there. You can see where it's missing. Um, yeah, they, they like to be like, you know, active. Give your fish something to do, as my boy Brian states. So, you're going to want to have a big power head, get them swimming, but then they also need a nice place to retreat. They're also big jumpers. Uh, you'll notice I have this, like, taller uh, thing up here. That's about six inches above, and it goes uh, around three of the four sides of my tank so that they have a little higher to jump out. The actual, the native caught uh, the Fred Rickies, this guy over here. Used to be one of five, but they just keep jumping out. He's actually a really dope fish, too. So, uh, yeah, I really like him, and I've got a ton of the babies, because some of the babies have jumped out, too, so it's just the name of the game. But um, having a lot of fun at the rainbows, having fun kind of getting into this tank. No, I'm not removing the driftwood. I'm going to take it out and then get a bunch of uh, java fern tied to it. So 
I uh, appreciate everybody who had my back, by the way, when I was promoting plants. God forbid a man who has 550 some videos uh, takes a minute to tell about a special that he has. So, um, you know, appreciate everybody that was looking out for me on that. And uh, I'll try to keep it rolling for you, as always. So, appreciate the feedback, <clears throat> both positive and the negative, whatever. And uh, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. So, um, welcome new subscribers. Check out rainbowfish.info or rainbow, oh, excuse me, rainbowfishis.edu. Rainbowfishis.edu. Uh, and then Park and Sonai. You're going to find it in a pet store. It's not going to look nearly as good as that. It took it about a year to get looking good. Um, but uh, they do they do color up well. Also, you want to add uh, like I think it's vitamin B and like a little like vitamin B. Just make sure you you have really good food, which is a whole other video on good food. But that's my boy, deserving it. I wanted to see how big he can get. I think they get about six inches. That's what I was reading today. So I'd love to see that. He's he's uh, halfway there. So rock on, fish tank.